please pause for the moment of silence. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. A student violinist and sidekick who also excels in class. See how this student handles it all. And another edition of Embarrassing Teacher Moments featuring a falling Chewbacca. And Thanksgiving Day is almost here. See what your fellow Texans are celebrating on Texans on Main Street. And I'm here with Ms. Wallace and Ms. Gaither to help you prepare for your, text, for your, for your future during Gen Tech Week. Sit back and relax. NHS TV Live starts right now. And then they all sat down and had a feast. Good job. Today our top story is an update on the public testimony in the impeachment hearings in the House. This is the second week of public hearings in the House's impeachment inquiry. Yesterday there were testimonies from four current and former administration officials. Tim Morrison stated that he believed that it was not appropriate for a president to ask a foreign leader to investigate an American citizen, particularly one former Vice President Joe Biden, who is a political rival of the president. Today three more individuals will testify. Currently, Ambassador Son Alind is testifying before the committee. He indicated that Trump attorney Rudy Giuliani did offer a quid pro quo to Ukrainian President Zelensky dealing with withholding aid to the Ukraine in exchange for an investigation into Joe Biden's son. As testimony continues, we will have more to come tomorrow. Hackers have gained access to thousands of the user accounts on the new streaming service Disney+. Plus. Hackers are now selling them for between $3 and $11, according to multiple investigations. Some people were complaining that hackers locked them out of their accounts after online thieves gained access and changed their accounts' usernames and passwords. Disney Plus itself does not appear to have been hacked. Instead, Disney Plus customers' credentials were stolen in other security breaches. Many people use the same email logins and passwords for multiple accounts, including the streaming service, which have been stolen during previous security breaches. Here are tips for keeping your login information and credentials safe. Don't use pa common passwords. Use different passwords for different accounts. Use two-factor authentication and use third-party tools to be no notified when credentials are accessed. Keep your accounts safe, Texans. Now, whether you need a person or a website, there are many resources available as you consider going to college. Right, Clover? That's right, Javi. I'm here with Ms. Wallace and Ms. Gaither. And so, okay, so today, this week is Gen Tech's week, right? right and yeah. so what's today's color? Today's color is purple or yellow. Okay, and then what is it, what's the theme of today? Today's theme is get out and visit colleges. Okay, and then what do you guys recommend the process of visiting a college? Well, uh, first it's important to remember that starting your junior year, you get mm -hmm. two excused absences for college visits, provided you bring documentation when you come back. Of course, and then so when we want to visit a school, what do you think we should do? Definitely reach out to the university and let them know that you're coming in for a visit. They can cater their visit towards you and your major and your interests. Okay, of course, and then wrapping up, um, what's tomorrow's dress up day? Tomorrow's dress up day is camo or military. Okay, well thank you guys so much for coming in. And Texans, the counselors are always here to help. Yes. Back to you anchors. Thanks Clover. A college education open source to so many career opportunities and it isn't limited to four years. Options for you include two year schools, technical schools, certificate programs, and universities. Visit campuses and make the choice that's right for you. One way to get noticed by colleges is to get into many extracurriculars, such as orchestra, sidekicks, and even learning German. Think it's too much? One of our students has done just that and much more. We sent out NHSC reporters to find more information on this hardworking student. If you've ever gone to a pep rally or a football game here at Northwest, you would have seen the sidekicks performing on the field, in the bleachers, and in the gymnasium. 
This also means you would have seen junior student Sarah St. John performing side by side with them. What you may have not noticed, however, is that she is one of the most involved students here at our school. I have been in orchestra for five years. This will be my sixth year. And I have been in sidekicks for two years total, but this is my third year. And then I have been in German for two years. Sarah decided to join sidekicks when she saw them perform at a middle school pep rally. And from then on, she was hooked. She started on junior varsity during her freshman year and quickly advanced to varsity in her sophomore year, even becoming the president in her junior year. So I plan all the social events that we have and I coordinate all the behind the scenes stuff that the dance officers don't do. But she hasn't stopped there. She's also earned her spot as an orchestra officer this year. For most, balancing two fine arts would be more than enough to keep them busy. However, the workload doesn't end there either. Sarah is also nearly fluent in German. I joined German class because my grandparents speak German and I really wanted to be able to have conversations with them and be able to talk with them. On top of all of this, Sarah still manages to find time to hang out with her boyfriend from Byron and her friends here at Northwest. Although she has been doing so much at the school, she still maintains her lovely personality, which, according to orchestra teacher Mr. Gamotes, lights up the room. She's uh, one of the, uh, the kinds of students that comes in and just kind of brightens everyone's day. So, if you have Sarah in any of your classes, take time to get to know her and her bubbly personality. For NHS-TV, this has been Reagan McDonald. Thanks, Reagan. Sarah is extremely talented. A group here that's also talented is our Texan theater students. Thespian members are starting their fall break early by spending a weekend at the Gaylord. What else can you tell us about that, Jay? Well, guys, I'm here with Madison Lucky to tell us about theater's upcoming field trip. So can you tell us a little bit about what the Thespian Convention is? Well, Thespian Convention is a convention that's held yearly. And so the theater students across the state of Texas come along, they see shows, and they go to classes. And how do you think uh, people who are in theater benefit from these workshops? Definitely they learn a lot of social skills. You're in a completely new environment, new teachers, and then you get to like learn from different theater students across the state. And I mean, you were telling me earlier that you know, you've know you gone to this previous year, so what do you think about it? I think it's a lot of fun. Um, like I said, you get to meet theater students from the college school, you get to see really cool shows, and you get to learn a lot of new things, so yeah. Well, thank you so much, and everyone here at Northwest, which is um, everyone going to that trip, a happy trip. So back to you guys. Thanks, Jay. Now we have some embarrassing teacher moments that you'll want to hear about, told from a few English teachers here. My embarrassing teacher moment is it was pajama day and I was wearing a Chewbacca onesie and the bell rang and I was trying to get up to my classroom in time and I slipped on the stairs and slid all the way to the bottom. <laughs> My embarrassing teacher story is one time I was leaving PLC and I just was walking out of the classroom, walking down the hall to go to the restroom and I had some new sandals on and I guess my toe hit the invisible ground and I fell forward and like dove like I was sliding into home plate and Miss Day asked Mr. Barnhart to get the video so everybody could see it but luckily he did not give it so the only person that saw it was me. <laughs> Students or teachers, if you know of any educators with a good embarrassing story, make sure to DM us on Instagram at NHS underscore TV or email us at nhstv.nictx.org. Now, tis the season of giving thanks and spending quality time with those you love. We went out to find out about your plans for this Thanksgiving on this week's Texans on Main Street. For this week's Texans on Main Street, I'm asking you turkey-themed questions. Are you guys ready for Turkey Day? Okay, so for Thanksgiving this year, what are you most thankful for? The food. The, the food, yes. The food. My friends. What is the worst Thanksgiving dish? Um, probably green beans. Unfortunately, green beans fall victim to this every time. So, which is your favorite pie? Like, my favorite pie, man, probably pecan pie. Pecan. What? What was that? Oh, do you eat turkey or ham for Thanksgiving? Ham. So what are you doing for Thanksgiving? 
I honestly don't know. My family's being cooperated. What? How do you say that word? Uncooperative? Yeah. Yeah, I totally understand that. What day is Thanksgiving on? I'm thinking it's a Friday. I don't know. What is your favorite like post-eating Thanksgiving tradition? Uh, we like to go into food coma and just sleep on the couch and then watch hockey. I've never actually watched a game. Do you know where Thanksgiving started? Um, in Plymouth, Massachusetts. With such a sad history. Yeah. <laughs>Forget tomorrow's dress up day is camo or military. And tomorrow we'll have the first look at the new yearbook theme and cover. Thanks for watching, Texans. This has been NHS TV Live.